Matthew chapter 18 Matthew chapter 18 Matthew chapter 18 15 to 17 Mwene so nakugirira nabi umenyesha icyaha cye umumenyesha icyaha cye mwiherereye nakumvira uzabubonye mwene so ariko natakumvira umuteze undi cyangwa babiri ngo ijambo ryose rikomere mu kanwa kabagabo babiri cyangwa batatu kandi niyanga kumvira abo uzabibwira itorero niyanga kuryumvira naryo azakubeho mu mupagani cyangwa umukoresha wikoro abagaratsi yagatandatu rimwe rekana ho tuhasome those with bible those with bibles in other uh, languages please read by yourselves galatians chapter 6 verse 1 bene data umuntu ni yadukwaho nicyaha Mwebwe abumwuka mugaruzu uwo muntu umwuka w'ubugwaneza ariko umuntu wese yirinde kugira ngo nawe adashukwa imana itugire neza mu cyongereza sorry ata hatiguye ntacyo abongereza ndibwira haruvuga icyongereza hano se gusubwo those with english bibles please read by yourself umuntu abona vuga icyongereza gusa Reka tuganye iyo minota yesa shimwe okay. cyane mm. turi rero uh, muri teme ivuga kubana neza we are in the theme in the, in the theme saying that uh, living in harmony kubana neza living in harmony kubana neza living in harmony twabonye byinshi ijambo ry'Imana ritubwira impamvu zo kubana neza we saw a lot of things teaching us of how to live in harmony with one another uyu munsi rero intambwe zacu zitugejeje ukuntu mu nzu y'Imana mubera muri bene data uko tubyifatamo uh, today then we are going to study of how we are going to live in harmony in the church in, in, in with our brethren in, 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 in the congregation hakuko imana nyine iziko hagati tujya tugira nibyo dupfu because god knows that in the midst sometimes we have conflicts Yes, Amen. Imani irabizi ko no hagati muri twe dushobora kugirana ibibazo. God knows that we can have conflicts together. Imani irabizi ko bene data bashobora kugira ikintu batumvikanaho. We know that our brethren can have some conflicts. Imani ziko wowe ushobora kugira icyo wapfa na mwene so. God knows that you can have a conflict with your your friend. Nkunda kongera ho ngo wabigendere cyangwa utabigendere. Whether you want it or not. Wabigenderera wabipanze when you have planned it or you did not do plan it kugwa. or it just comes to you god wants it to 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 be solved ndagira ngo mbabwire sukuru mwene data wakwirengagiza ko imana ibishaka ko bikemuka so god wants you wants it to be solved rero buryo yashyizeho so the ways that he put mu ijambo ry'imana in his word uruhare rwa bene data our our role uburyo dukwiriye gukemura ibibazo so we are going to solve things this is, I mean, this scripture shows us how to do it. Step First step. If your, your brother sins against you, maybe he wanted it or not, maybe it just surprised him too kuko abantu turi abana because we are people bakundwa aho ngaho umwana w'Imana kwiriye kwanza kwemera ko mwene se ashobora kumuhemukira kandi atabigambiriye brethren you need to, to allow and acknowledge that maybe your brother can sin against you willingly or not yes ashim amen bibirira kubwira ngo the bible tells us that ya kuremereye Maybe he burdened you. Yakubabaje. He hurt you. Afite ikintu yagukoshereje. He did something wrong to you. Ijambo ry'Imana. The word of God. Rikugira inama. Advises you. Gutambuka ugende umubwire. Go and tell them. Yes, ashimwe. 
Praise Go and tell them. Musange. Find him. Step yambere musange. The first step, go to them. Mubgire. Tell them. Mubgire chochinu ya gukore Tell him the thing that he did to Mubgire you. Chochinu chitari chiza. Tell him that bad thing that he did to you. Mubgire. Tell him. Musange. Find him. Inhamge yambere kumusange. The first step, go to him. Nukufu gango. It is saying that you don't need to go to the second person without finding that person that sinned against you may God help us these are the steps from the bible God laid the foundation of how people can live in harmony with one another. Take that step and find that person. Tell him that on this thing, on this part, you play a bad role. You hurt me on this thing. Maybe there's something good that is going to happen. When you find your brother, you know that he can explain how things went. Amen. Amen. It is you are giving him a chance to explain. You are giving him a chance to explain. Maybe you hardened some things when they are not hurt. Maybe you were hurt in your emotions when he didn't have the intention of hurting you. Maybe, maybe you hurt him first and that is why he, he hurt you. Take a step and go to him. Musange. Go to him. Umubgiri. Tell him. So that he can explain himself. Give him a chance to come back to the presence of God. Give him a chance to come back to the presence of, of God instead of, uh, instead of uh, framing from him. May God Here the word of God is clear you go to your brother. The Bible tells us that sometimes that brother is not going to listen to you. Let us follow this. God gave us all the ways to live together. Maybe in your own ways. In your own ways. The way you explained to your brother that what he, he did hurt you. You maybe you may talk to someone and he tells you, you know, I told that person. I showed him everything. I told him that he hurt me. For sure I did it. But he doesn't know. And that brother, that brother may tell you that I don't even know when he approached me. You may even say that I don't even know when, when it happened. So when the Bible tells you to take a step and find him, that is when, when you find him, you need to be sure that you did it. That you did that thing. That in your own way you know it that you did it. That you did it well. So that it gives you another step. So that it takes you to another step. The, the second step. You go to your, you go to your other brethren. So the second part they say. When you know that you told him. When you know that you are approached him and told him everything in your heart and you and you see that he does not accept when god is advising us he's not just letting go of everything that happened it is not letting go it is just to think that you and your brother need to come back to the presence of God this happens in the spiritual realm it has an impact in spiritual realm that is why it, do not, it is not something that you just let go that is, that is why we study the Bible we just don't do it that way 
ngo ndabyimbye umutima ndababaye reka mbimurukeho it is not something that you do because you are hurt and you are burdened and you want to just to, to lay it out oh yeah no ibintu byose everything tubikora tubikorera imana we do it for god iyo twamenye neza ko ari imana ibishaka when we know that god wants it iyo twamenye ko ari bwo buzima imana ishaka when we know it very well that that is the life that god wants us to live no bivunye even if it hurts no bigora even if it is hard abantu turiyemera because we sometimes we boost twarize ubushize gusaba imbabazi buryo impamvu tudasaba imbabazi nuko umuntu wese ariyemera akavuga ati baransuzugura we learned uh, uh, recently of how to re- to ask for forgiveness the reason to why we do not ask for forgiveness because we we boost in ourselves ariko akokanu kagomba kuvaho mu mwana we remove that thing as a child ukirenga and you go beyond yourself and you go beyond yourself and you allow your part you allow your part and when you go to your brother it's not it's not to, to create a war a that thing is those those conflicts are in the spiritual realm because when they are when they are not solved then they remain in even physically iyo hatabayeho kwiyunga when there is no reconciliation iyo hatabaye kwiyunga when there is no reconciliation kandi kwiyunga guhita gisanga umubwire and the reconciliation that happens when you go there and tell hakagumaho ibintu biguma mu mitima and something remains in your heart satana profit then sat, uh, the devil profit satana la profit the, the devil profit yono ni mitima he destroys our hearts atukumbura yo mitima he goes into our hearts akreya gukomereka and he creates the 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 the, the wounds in our hearts azani bisebe he creates the wounds in our hearts kandi byo bisebe bijya birenga bikagera kubana and when those wounds are too much in our hearts kandi byo se bitewe niki byo se bitewe niki all because kuko because when your heart the, the one that is hurt and the one that hurts they did not meet are we still together bakundwa dufite inyungu yo gukurikira inyigisho we have a profit in, in following this teaching kuko because biba mu mwuka it happens in spiritual realm kandi iyo mu mwuka nta busabane bwabaye when there is no uh, 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 fellowship in a spirit you know like communion when there is no communion in a spirit satani warabibona the devil sees that satani warabareba the devil is always watching ni gutyo rero ajya vanga abana b'Imana that is how he confuses the children ni gutyo vanga ingo that is how he confuses the marriages abagore nabagabo men and women abana nababyeyi children and parents ni gutyo satani akora that is how he he, he brings the aziko nta kuri kwabayemo because he knows that there is no truth aziko in that aziko intambwe zo kwiyunga zitabaye because he knows that the steps in in reconciliation aziko were not made aziko nta kuri kwabaye knows that the, the truth were not spoken in the spiritual realm, the devil does he takes that small thing and he uses it against you and he uses it against you to destroy that to destroy the other one and to destroy this one when i give examples and I, and i use homes I know I I bring your attention and you because when I bring it in church only you know you don't want to 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 humble yourself and ask for forgiveness but when I bring it in relationships that hold your heart parents and children we are, we, are, we listen to that when there is no truth between a man and a, a husband and a wife when there is no uh, truth between siblings when there is no truth between parents and children uburyo tumanika amaboko nuburyo dupfuka ama nuburyo turambarara ntacyo bibwiye satani the way we raise our hands the way we kneel down does not do anything to the devil kuko mwisi y'umukara habona because in the spiritual realm he sees that kandi muramuzi ni umuregayi and you know him his accuser as a prophet akokan he will use that thing kugira ngo yononi yo mibani to destroy the relationship haruke nkurikiye is everyone following me niyo mpamvu twiga bibiri that is why we study the bible ntabwo twiga ijambo ry'Imana icyo ridusaba ngo tunezeza abayobozi we do not do the the bible study or we not the study the bible just to please tu bikora ngo tubeho nkuko Kristo avuga we studied just to live as the christ says 
ukubwire mugenzi wa uti wampemukiye go to your neighbor and tell him that you hurt me so usobanura uburyo yaguhemukiye then you explain how he disappointed you we gukora kubyimbisha umutima do not just do it to to burden your heart or to harden your heart kuko kurakara ntibisohoza ibyo gukirana because being angry does not uh, bring the righteousness umutima utasohoye ibyo ufite ushobora kurangiza ukora nabi the heart that did not bring out the things that it has it, it, it ends up doing bad usanga mwene sukamubwira uti ndababaye cyangwa wankore nabi cyangwa sinumva ibi ni inyungu yawe ni inyungu ye ni inyungu y'umubiri wa Kristo going to your neighbor and tell him that you hurt me it is it is in your own interest and it is in the interest of others niyo mpamvu kubikora that is in doing it nibwo bisharira even if it is it is bad it is sour because you know we boss we love ourselves we do not want to, to harm ourselves that is how our kind of nature is kuchabugufingo uvuga uti ndemeriki humbling ourselves and allow the mistakes that we have kushobora kuba wakoze iki ngiki kuko nakoze iki allow your mistake i mean allow your mistake ndemera yuko iki ngiki kibaye kuko ngifite muri uruhare allowing that this happened because i played the role in it mbere yo gutambuka ngo uje guhamagara abandi before calling others Yes ashim. Amen. Kandi mana yacu dufashe. And may God. No no bibiri katubwirawo. And the Bible tells us. Ijizimana. When you are blessed. Mwiyunga kuri yo step ya mbere. You can reconcile with your brother and that Murumvikana. You can understand each other that first. Let me bring that uh, example of a husband and a wife. Ichomukakiringa. And you go beyond that. Icyo ngicyo kikaba settled. And that can be settled. Ichomukaba mukivuganyeho. And you talk about that and is done. Ntabwo ari umugabo iteka ugomba guhora asaba imbabazi umugore. It is not that a man always ask for forgiveness. Ntabwo ari umugore ugomba guhora ari wo wasabye imbabazi umugore. Oh a wife asking for forgiveness every day to her husband. No mu rusengero. Even in church. No mu rusengero. Even in church. Ntabwo ari abakristo basaba imbabazi abapasiteri. It's not that Christians need to ask for forgiveness to the pastors. Naba pastor aho bazi ko bahemukiye umukristo bajye bamusaba. Let even the pastors if they yes. know that they, they they did but the Christian go to them and ask for forgiveness. Bitarajya mu bandi before going to other people. Bitaraba mu bandi before going to other people. Iyo ugize imana rero kuri yo step ya mbere arakumva. When you are lucky enough on that first step, they understand and you then you become so when that person that hurt you atakumvise when he doesn't understand or he doesn't ushake umwe cyangwa abandi babiri the second step says go and find another person kuko mu mutima wawe imbere y'Imana uvuze utariko yarananiye because in your heart you say yeah he refused kuko mu mutima wawe ni Imana ibireba ku uwo muntu yakunaniye because in your heart even God knows that that person refused to understand you nuko mutabashije kumvikana muri babiri you not go you not reach an agreement together musange you go to him abandi babiri you, you you go to other people umwe cyangwa babiri one or two ubabwire you tell them ndaje ambabwire bene data let me tell you brethren iyo giye kushaka umwe when you go to find someone ntabwo ari umuntu uzavuza inzogera ngo yirirwe avuga ibyabaye it is not someone who is going to ring a bell to talk about things that happened aho hasaba ubwenge bw'imana it needs it needs uh, no nuko vuga cya kintu cyari cyababiri it means that the things that were between two people kigiye kundi muntu it is going to go to another person shaka umuntu uri neutre wo munyakuri Mwijambo ry'Imana uri bubobere umuhamye find someone neutral and honest that is going to to to, to be intermediate umubwire you tell him umubwire you tell him uti doruko ibintu byagenze that this is how things went doruko namuganirije this is how i talked to him doruko byagenze this is what happened none ngwino then come uduhuz and cyangwa babandi babiri ni muze muduhuz and come and interconnect us again bakaz and then they come Bibiliya iravuga ngo when the bible says ndaje mbabwire ntabwo ari intambwe zikorwa nk'imashini it is not uh, the steps that are done like uh, uh, as in a machine in, in in a machine way bikorwe mu rukundo let it be done bikorwe mutekereza kure kwipera wa muntu let it be done thinking of re, uh, uh, gaining the other person again bakundwa ntabwo izi steps zikorwa kugira ngo mubone uko tujugunya umuntu brethren we do not do these steps to throw people away kugira ngo tubone ukuntu dukubita umuntu hari ya tumukubite mu ibox tuvuge ngo nuko ngoko nuko ngoko no to have a reason to kora kugira ngo to have a reason to enclose people or to to throw them away every time do things to to bring back to bring them back to you 
kumugarura mu buntu bw'Imana koko bene data wa muntu uburyo bumutreta ubumushyira hirya y'Imana kurushaho because the way you treat that person it is putting them far away from god do it in a way you help that person to understand the things that happened it, it, it doesn't have to be uh, uh, to, to, to be like in a court nubwo mwene so iyo umugize utyo biba bisa naho ari guhangana so you are, like when you when you approach a person sometimes it feels like you are arguing niyo mpamva bagaratia bavuze ngo mwene so ni yadukwaho n'ikintu mugarure mu bugwaneza erega witonde nawe ibyo koze niwe wabikora ubutaha like in galatians how they said that when a person when your brother does something just approach him in love because maybe you never know you may even be affected like him ndagira mbabwire ijambo mu rukundo Uh, the, the word in love abakristo bajya baryumva nabi sometimes we get it in another perspective ko abana b'Imana twibwira ngo mu rukundo you know that we, we as children of god we, we, we think that in love no gushimasha mu muntu is to scratch to to no kurenza renzaho is to 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 go over something kugira ngo atareje isa nabi to cover something so that he does not react in a bad way oh yes it's good that is not being in love nukuri. The, the, in love it means truth urukundo to someone to find someone in love umuntu ashobora kukubwira ikosa wakoze mu rukundo ariko akubwira dirumo someone can tell you the mistake you did in lo- in love but he's telling you the truth ariko buryo twibwira urukundo but the way we are we, we see in love or love no buryo tugomba ngo kuruma duhuha it is uh, <laughs> Kuruma duhuka ngaho abongereza ni musobanura no man Susan Urumva kuruma duhuka nukuvuga ngo nyamuneka hafi 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 dapfa hafi ariko nubwo yakoze nabi nawe shaka kuno nyene orosha de Suthening is like is like doing I mean uh, continue caressing someone maybe he, yet he did something wrong and you don't want him to react in a bad way or you don't want him to be hurt yet he did a mistake bene data ibyo that thing ushobora gutuma uri hugura atazamenya na rimwe yuko yakosheje you may let you, i mean it causes that person that did a mistake not to know the mistake ushobora kuba imana yari mu guhaye nka mwene so maybe god just gave him to you as your brethren nguba ari wowe ukosora ibyo bintu maybe akora kenshi ariko imana yari mu guhaye so that you can address the issue that the, that he has all the problems that he does all the mistakes that he does every day because no, god no, wants no kubera ko dukunda kwa abantu badukunda but because we want people to continue loving us Yes uburyo yigeze kuvuga ngo nti mushobora kunezeza imana mukunda kunegushimwa nabantu Jesus say that you cannot be pleased uh, uh, by God yet you want to be pleased by people too Eh nyine hakaza kantu ko korosa rosa because you want to cover up things Ariko ndakubwira umwana wawe wabyaye munda But I tell you the truth that like your child your 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 boy Buryo umuhanuzi kudakora utyo You know when you are you are correcting him you don't do that you don't do that uramubuti none wazaje handi hano gakora ibi bintu you say that when you go what if you go to another place and do something like that none hagira undi muntu kubona nuko riki what if someone sees you doing that niko imana idusaba kurera mu rusengero that is what the bible tells us to do in the, in, in, in the presence of god kurera to raise people dutekereza kwa abo bantu arabimana kandi bakunda to raise them thinking that god those people are for god and kandi buri kintu gishaka kugarura umuntu mu bwiza bw'imana and everything you do wanting to bring them back to the presence of god ndagira ngo mbabwire i want to tell you this iyo mukora ibi when you do this muri bene so in your brethren wowe icyo ushaka ari uko mwene sa kumva waramuhemukiye when you want people to understand you maybe he hurt you nuburerera imana you are not raising for god you just want you to be hard but when you do it when you are uh, when you are worried about the, the life of that person, god comes through that love that you have. if that person is to hear you if he is to hear you he will come back Erega suko twicaye mu rusengero bivuga ngo turahari It is not that we are seated in church that means that we are here Kugarura 
umuntu bringing people back to God. wajyanwe nibikomere yicaye mu rusengero. It is someone that went uh, away from from God yet he still in church. Umuntu witwaje ko yakomeretse yababa yenyamara yicaye mu nzu yima. Someone that that is saying that his heart yet he seated in the church. Ndangiza. As I conclude. Kuko amasaha yanjyanye. Because the time has gone. Step ya nyuma. The last step hari gihe rero atumvira nabo babiri sometimes he may not even listen to those two people that you brought icyo kintabwiwe the thing that he's been told izo remarks mwamuhaye the remarks that you gave him icyo kintu yakoreye mwene se the things that he the, the, the sin that he sinned against that brother kikaza kuza mwitorero then it comes to the church iyo bavuga itorero ntabwo bavuga itorero ryose iri when they say uh, a church they don't mean the congregation as you can see nabahagararira itorero they are meaning the leaders of the church ariko kubwo ubuntu bw'Imana but for the grace of god namwe bana b'Imana you even the children of god umuntu w'Imana ntukagombe kugeraho do not allow yourself to reach on that step niyo mpamvu that is why abantu benshi yabicaye mu nzu y'Imana when we are seated in the in the house of god ntabwo tuzi kwa ibari umurimo w'Imana we don't know that it is a, it is a, it is a minister of god ntabwo tuzi ko umurimo w'Imana mu nzu y'Imana We don't know that the minister of God in the house of God ugomba kugezaho umuntu abwirwa requires us to be told akongera kabwirwa and then and then they tell you again akongera kabwirwa and they give you some remarks again iyo nta kwakira nta no guhinduka when you don't uh, allow and you don't change bibiliya iravuga ngo the bible says uwo muntu ntashaka kuba umuntu w'Imana that person do not want to be a child or a person of God when you when you take him as a pagan ni step ya nyuma it is the last step igomba gukoranwa nokosorwa to be uh, done by the person that is being corrected kugirango so that nubwo we mwene so waburi ho mwakira even if you are brethren you are receiving him nubwo abandi baba bari ho bamwakira whether even others are receiving him ariko kuba intera ageze hugezaho but for the step that he is for the level that he is on to It is a problem to God. It is a problem in heaven. So I want to tell you that ahanga haturuho turavuga ikintu kitujyana tuzarangiza nzabaya tuzajonjora ku cyumweru gitaha. We are tuzongera dukomeze ku cyumweru gitaha. We will continue from here on the next Sunday. Aho ni hahandi mushobora kumva that is where you will listen, you will hear itorero the church dihagarara standing ikavuga ngo mwene mwe uwari mwene data runaka ntabwo tukiri kumwe and uh, proclaiming that the person that we are together a brethren we no longer serve together ntabwo tukiri kumwe we no longer serve together kuko habaye ibintu because there are some things that happened bigaragara ko umuntu adahinduka that uh, showed that the person is not changing ako byose mu rukundo but everything we do it in love ntabwo bikwiriye gukorwa kugira ngo tujugunya abantu we don't do it just to throw people away oh yeah no umuntu yakwijugunya maybe you can take yourself out ariko ntabwo tumujugunya but we don't throw you Niyo out mpamvu, that is why mwitorero burya in church iyo mwakira umukristo when you receive a christian from another church it is very good and very advisable to ask him how he's, he's been doing impamvu do you know why ashobora kuba avuye handa tenzwe maybe he may be from another church uh, uh, when they had thrown him out mwebwe mugasa nabatangiye and then you start i mean you you welcome him turi kumwe are we still together imani dufash may god help us tuzakomeza ku cyumweru gitaha we will continue the next sunday kugira ngo turebe so that we see the relationships between the brothers, how god sees it how god says it how god wants it to be done mwami imani ishobora byose ngushimiye jambo ryawe ngushimiye ubuntu buba mu ijambo ryawe ngushimiye ukuri kwawe ngushimiye kuri umubyeyi mwami ijambo ryawe ratubwira ngo ni uhe mubyeyi utahana umwana we mwami ngo kereka turi bibyarwa aya magambo tubwira no kugira ngo umwami duha gaciro bene data no kugira ngo tubane mu kuri no kugira ngo tubane mu mucyo no kugira ngo umwami tuvaneho za bariyeri zose ziba hagati yacu nabandi tubikora mu rukundo ijambo rya riratubwiye ngo tubikore mu rukundo kuko natwe ubwacu twibwiye ko duhagaze niki kitubwira ko tutagwa 
kuko natwe byatugeraho duhe mwami kugucira bugufi duhe gukunda bene data urukundo rutari urw'iminwa duhe gukunda bene data mwami tubagarura iteka muri communion kandi twese mwami duhura hagati muri fellowship nawe mwami reka turebe icyo tugukorera duhu buzima bukora bukorera wowe duhu buzima bukora byose tubigira izina ryawe tubigirira uko tureba tubigira uko dushaka tubigira urukundo udukunda bidushoboze mwami kandi nurangiza turabizi ubudutuma hanze ubudutuma no kubandi ubudutuma kukubera abambassadeur ubudutuma kukubera mwami abahuza abantu nabandi kuko natwe bwacu twemera gucyahwa urakoze mwami urakoze kubwo umwuka wawe wigisha urakoze kubwo umwuka wawe udushoboza icyubahiro ni kuzo bikomeze bibi bya mu izina rya Yesu amen imani dwa no mugisha may god bless you kawera tibanire kwiga bibiliya bible study gira mugenzi wawe ngo kwiga bibiliya uh, tell your neighbor bible study uh, for a visitor, I want to inform you that it doesn't take long. But we do study the Bible. We try our best to know the scriptures. And to know what God has spoken. So without further ado. So here are the scriptures. Uh, we are focusing on Matthew chapter 18. Matthew chapter 18. We are going to start with verse. We are going to start with verse 15. So open up your Bible. You should be curious of what you are going to learn. Matayo chumi numunani turahira kuri chumi nagatana. So Matthew chapter 18 starting from verse 15. Mwene so nakugirira nabi. Ugende umumenyesha icyahake mwiherereye. Nakumvira uzabubonye mwene so. Ariko natakumvira umuteza undi cyangwa haze babiri ngo ijambo ryose rikomere mu kanwa kabagabo babiri cyangwa batatu kuko Imana ikunda abagabo abatemwe. Kandi niyanga kumvira abo nabo akanga kubumvira kananirana uzabibwira itorero rya Kristo niyanga kuryumvira naryo ubwo azakubera umupagani cyangwa umukoresha wikoro reka dusome no mu cyongereza If your brother or sister sins go and point out their faults just between the two of you If they listen to you you have won them over but if they will not listen, take one or two others along so that every matter may be established by the testimony of two or three witnesses. If they still refuse to listen, tell it to the church. And if they refuse to listen to the, even to the church, treat them as you would a pagan or a tax collector. Yes, Hashim. Praise Jesus. To Mazerero or Ejechingana Nukwezi Twiga, Imibani Remiza Hagati Avanunavandi. So it's been a month that we've been learning about good relationships. Gira Mujenzi Wangu Imibani Remiza. Tell your neighbor good relationships. Imibani Remiza Hagati Achu Ihanga Ichishiman. God is concerned about our good relationships. Gira Gumene Nezako Urjuana Navandi Imani Vifitemo Uruhare. I want to tell you that the way you relate to others, God is concerned and is involved in that. So God cares very much the way you relate with others. God is observing the way you relate with others. So we say it a lot. And I would like to encourage you to look for CDs and DVDs of uh, a series of teachings about the relationships. Because at times you may think that I'll be born again, join the church, and go home without relating to others because I'm not able to handle it. But that's not true. 
ntabwo ari byo That's not right Ushobora kubaho nabi muri ubu buzima kuko utitaho abandi You can have a very bad life just because you do not care about others Kandi uburyo ubanira abandi bibabaza imana And the way you relate to others may grieve God Utitaho abandi bibabaza imana If you don't care about others it, it grieves God Utitaho uburyo ubanira abantu bibabaza imana If you don't care how you relate to others it grieves God Ndetse twabonye ko binabuza amasengesho yawe kumvikana Actually we are that is even a hindrance to your prayers Akenshi rero ibyo tubyica kuko tutaza aho biba muri bibiliya And often we break that because we don't know where it is written in the Bible or maybe because someone else did not tell us dufite hanze bwo kubiraho turi nyamwigendaho tukabuzana mu nzu y'Imana And then we bring our selfish life uh, also in the house of God Ndagukumbuza gushaka iyo CD ngo wumve ubwo butumwa So I encourage you to look for for that CV in order to listen to that message Uyu munsi tugiye kugera ku ndunduro y'inyigisho rero So today we will be coming to the end of that uh, teaching Iyi mibanire myiza yaradutwaye itugejeje ahantu tuvuga ni ryari mwitoro dushobora kubwira umuntu ngo igendere So now these good relationships we have been learning about uh, we are going to see at which point can we reach to uh, to that level to excommunicate a person Because the church is allowed to excommunicate a person And I know that you have you are not aware of this You may have a lifestyle to a point where you are excommunicated And the church may decide and say you are no longer a member of the church And even last Sunday the, I read the same scriptures and I reached to a point of telling you that yuko abayoboya amatorero church leaders abayobozi b'amatorero church leaders basabwa are expected iyo bakiri mu Kristo uvuye muri ndi torero especially when they are welcoming a, a new member from another church kwebwa abayobozi dusabwa kwitonda tukabaza igitumye mu Kristo aja tugana kuko hari igihe ushobora kwakira mu Kristo uvangwa handi nuko yahanwe so we need to be careful when we are receiving members and be sure that that particular person has not been excommunicated from his former church cyaba ari ikibazo ryo kwitorero ryanyu So it will be a problem to your church. Because if that person has been punished, the same mistakes have been done, they shift to the new church that is And the problem will be on our side as leaders of the church because we do not communicate this to the members of the church. That is why it is in our interest to know what the Bible says about this. So you have seen all these three steps. It starts with one on one. Uh, if a brother has offended you. So before announcing that Imana irakureba ivuga iti se wamubwiye God is expecting you to talk to that person first Ibyo muvuga wabivuze So what you are gossiping around did you speak Ese wamuhaya amahirwe yo kubikira Did you give an opportunity for that person Ese wamuhaya amahirwe yo kugusobanurira impamvu Did you give an opportunity to that person to give an explanation to you Icyo nicyo wowe nange Imana idutegereza And this is what you and I God is expecting from us Ngo bijya bibaho rero yuko wa mwene se ushobora kumwegera muri babiri ariko bigahinduka ikibazo And it can happen that you may approach your brethren when the, the two of you and then it becomes an issue. So now when you fail to reach an agreement the two of you So your Christianity requires to escalate it and look for another third person who is faithful. When you know that it is a person of integrity uh, you, do, you don't look for a person who will support you Because when you are making a coalition looking for people to support you actually you, are, you want to comfort And you just want to emphasize that uh, you are the one who Iyo rero dushaka kwemeza ko dufite ukuri dushaka baza kuza basupporting igitekerezo cyacu gusa So when we want to convince others we try to look for those who are supporting our opinion Oya kuko ubushaka kugarura wa mwene data mu bumwe bw'abana b'Imana Now because you want to bring back your brethren In, in the unity of children of God bakundwa kubera ko ikibazo mwene sagiranye nawe mwisi nkuka kibakiriyo and i want to tell you that the problem we have with the brethren that issue is in the spiritual realm yes kubantu baba bigendera barya people may be just moving around ariko kumana kibari kibazo but it is an issue to god kuma 
God is expecting you to reconcile God is expecting one of the two to, to make a step and God is expecting you if you are grieved to a point that you are not able to handle it why don't you approach that person now if you want to bring that person in the unity of God you don't stop from there and say that God that person has refused and say what can I do because this person is refusing no you have to look for another person and a person of integrity who will not support you. A person who has integrity and who will be able to handle it properly. Are we together? And the other person may still refuse. You may even be the two of you, but the other person refuses. Actually, he may be even angry at you and decide not to speak to you. Actually, the, the, the situation may be even worse and continue even to speak So the Bible gives you an advice when that happens. So that is when you are supposed to join And who is the church? So the church does not mean the pastor only. Of course, the church can be also the pastor. Or even leaders in, that, in the same church. In this church in particular, it is the elders. Council. Those are the elders in the church. And we are currently nine. And then that is where the issue is stable. Now, when the issue is stable in that council, so they look at it fairly. And then they exalt the brethren. And so because it has reached that level. So when it reached that level, and the brethren decided not to listen. So now the Bible says now because he has offended you, let him be like a pagan. And this is where the church of Christ uh, can take a decision and say, We have tried everything, you have refused, now we're going to excommunicate you. Are we still together? So my desire as I teach you, you should not have a problem that reach that level. So you should never have a problem that reaches to a point of where the church is involved. In it. So it means that you are refusing to obey. And it means that you are being rebellious in the church. So now what do we do as the church? So we're going to look at another scripture. To see what God says to the children of God who have done something wrong. So in Hebrews chapter 12 from verse 5 to, to 11. So for those who have Bibles in other languages we can read in the meantime. Who is rebuking here? Induhana. Induchaha. Who disciplines? Induhana. Who rebukes? Do you agree that it is possible to be rebuked or disciplined? Do you know that God can discipline someone? Do you agree that the Lord can rebuke someone? Yes, Yes, indeed. Because last Sunday I said uh, at times as Christians we, we try to ignore such uh, scriptures and we don't even want to know that God can reach to a point of punishing us because it is God of love Papa Wachu, our Father Rekada. no no but now you have read it. And this is what I like about the Bible. When you read it on your own, you should accept this because the Bible says so. Give a hand clap to Jesus. So you should not reach to a point of being punished by God. Niwahana. Kandi akubitichi abo bangahe 
kwa rabana mera yesamashi hari ibintu tutabasha kuvana muri bibiliya so there are certain things that you cannot remove in the bible nubwo bisharira kuri twe even though it may be bitter to us ariko bibiliya kubwiye ngo uwiteka uwakunda ubundi ni wahana but the bible says because the lord disciplines the one he loves akubita ibiboko abo yemera kwa rabana be and he chastens everyone he accepts as his son karindwe nimwihanganira ibihano muba mugaragaje ko muri abana b'Imana mbese ni mwana cyo dahanwa na se ariko niba mudahanwa nk'abandi bose noneho muba muri bibyarwa mutarabana nyakuri ko dufite ba data batubyaye ku mubiri bakaduhana natwe tukabubaha na nkaswe nti dukwiriye kurushaho cyane kugandukira data ise w'imyuka tugahoraho kuko babandi baduhanaga iminsi mike abo ni bapapa b'umubiri nkuko byari bibabere byiza na huyu papa wo mwijuru aduhanira kugira ngo bitubere byiza dusangire kwera kwe amen nta gihano rero dore inkuru nta gihano kinezeza uki gihanwa ahubwo kimutera umubabaro ariko rero hanyuma cyera imbuto zo gukiranuka zihesha abamenyerejwe nacyo amahoro Hallelujah. Ariko jambo ry'Imana ni ryiza benedata. The word of God is good. Itekereza ko iriho riratubwira ibintu bisharirie. Just imagine it is telling us painful things. Ariko nubutumwa bwiza. But it is the good news. Ibaze ko nabiri abyitwa la bonne nouvelle. This is also called good news. Achira la bonne nouvelle. Please receive the good news. Ibaze ko ni ari inkuru nziza. This is also a good news. Ntabwo nshaka gukomanta aho ngaho reka dukomeze ibi ni inkuru nziza This is good news Ibintu byose Imana yahamije So everything that God has testified So when you are aware of it bikubeshaho It sustains you Wicha aho ngaho uyu munsi So if you are seated here today Ndagira ngo nkubwire ngo iyo mana I want to tell you that the same God Ikwigisha ibikugirira umumaro It teaches you what is useful Ikwigisha ibikugirira umumaro It teaches you what is useful Ikuyobora mu nzira nziza And he leads you in the right path Iyo yikundiye mu bana mo muri byo bintu When you are except you are able to work with God in that. so as a child that he loves as a child that he loves as a child that he loves there are times that he chastens you say amen sometimes he can whip us and when he whips us uh, definitely we look for uh, someone else to, to blame especially the devil and then we go to chase who and then we trust the devil through a fasting prayer and then we bury him and we name different ways so next time examine whether God is not telling you something next time ask yourself what God is trying to tell you and if you realize that there is no issue that you have to because we've been learning about obeying God so now you can exclude that you can exclude because you are at peace with God. And you should know that in that particular case, what reaches you the same thing that uh, happens to all children of God. So, beloved, let me tell you for the number of years I've been in the house of God, and I've realized that as Christians, we don't uh, like to accept that we have grieved God. We don't accept it. Are you blame your husband? you blame your wife you blame your co-workers uh, and you blame others too soft everyone except you everyone except you so you will blame others because you do not want to face your contribution in that. so these teachings are meant that as a child of God you should learn to focus on your so God did not call us to continue and live anyhowly oh yeah no 
but he has guidelines there is the bible which tells us how we are supposed to be so every word which is spoken by God you should, you should tremble before it. now when it comes to the church we are also like parents we are standing as parents uh, and the bible requires us to be watched full for the, the head he has given us because we will be held accountable. So as we guard that herd, we are supposed to know the behavior of people. And there are certain things we are supposed to punish. There are certain things that we do not accept. So a member cannot behave anyhow and think that he will not do anything. Hallelujah. Let me give you an example. A long time ago in 2004, uh, there is um, a member of the church we used to be together. So now when he was about to get married, uh, she was pregnant. Are you still listening? Are you attentive? So she was pregnant. Uh, for those who have been with us for a long period of time, they know who I'm Kuva talking about. So from the time we started leading the church, I didn't know when such case happened when I was in no But even today, uh, in the church of God, there are certain things that happen and we don't know how to handle it. There are certain things that happen and we go and inquire from God and say, Oh Lord, how should we handle this? Because an issue of the body of Christ, because the church is the body of Christ, and we are members of the same body. So now one part of the body is, cannot be there on its own. It cannot go aside and say I have Jesus and I live the way I want. This is not how we are called. And this is not how the church is shepherded. But the church is a body. It is the bride of Christ. So we don't isolate the case of one person. So one person can do something that affects the entire church. Do you agree? Yes. Yes. So when she got pregnant, she came personally to see me. And even the husband was there because the husband was ready to take her. And they had no other issue because they had agreed. And it should be clear, but the, 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 the husband was not a member of the church. So, reverence for the law that we taught our daughter, the, hus his, the husband was not aware of that. So the instructions that we gave to that lady who was a member of the church, the husband to be was not aware of that. But that lady decided to get married to that young man. Even though the word of God says you should not reconcile to those who are believers. So we cannot prevent a person from getting married to the one he wants. Are you still following me? So church, we as churches, we are not allowed to to prevent someone from getting married to the one he But we don't also sit down and overlook that. Our responsibility is to guard And our responsibility is not to let anyone do whatever he, he or she wants. And when we are advising the youth to get married to those who uh, they share the same belief, it's not because you are dictating them. But if you are a, a, a member of our church, if you are like a body part, 
of us. Whatever you do, definitely it will have an impact on us. And we are able to analyze to see what we taught you. So uh, the young lady, we could not prevent her from getting married. Especially because we realized this when she was already pregnant. And we really loved her so much. And she knew that we love her so much. But now this is what I appreciated I didn't know what to do. So for me, it was a tragedy. Uh, because in the church that I was leading, I found a lady And I said, oh Lord, what am I going to do? And I was even telling others, what are we going to do in this situation? So when we're still that, so she, she behaved very well. So she came when we had overnight prayers. We're still very few as the church. Now she came and said, I want to ask for forgiveness. And say, this is what I want to repent of. I say, what you are able to see, as you can see, I'm pregnant. This is not what you taught me. May God bless her where she is right now. May God bless her indeed. Because she told us how it is supposed to be done. She realized that she did not sin against me only. Because even when uh, David sinned secretly, he said, I sinned against God and also sinned against people. Uh, and at that time, I didn't know exactly what I'm teaching you today. You should not think that you were born knowing everything. I was really in trouble at that time. So there are certain things that happen to us as pastors and we don't know how to handle it. And God told me that she has done the right thing and that's how she was to So there are certain things that happen in the church. So a member of the church can do something and then they should not keep it as a secret. And the Christians should not say, I did this alone, so I should forgive myself, and I should not. Let know this. You may think about it that way, but there will be an issue to us as the leadership. Now, those who are looking at that, and one, another member who is looking at another one who is looking at that. Does it give others permission and say others they did it, but they are not punished? Otherwise, will be held accountable by God. So I want to tell you what the Bible says. So the Bible can use the parent who read in Hebrew and the So now your, your problem may be presented before the church. And the church may have to decide before such a case. So there are certain problems that you members of the church um, uh, commit. So which means that you owe us an accountability with regard to that. And not us as human beings uh, for the reverence of God because you have committed yourself to the hand of God. Just because you are part of God's family there are certain things that you can do and you feel in your heart that you are supposed to be uh, accountable to others. So I want to tell you this as I wind up. When you don't do it, when you refuse to do it, when you refuse to do it, it is actually a very great problem. Because the body of Christ, we are body parts. 
for one body part to say uh, who, this is who I am and this is how it is uh, the wrong I have done to others I don't care I don't owe them anything and no one knows how I sleep. No, no one knows how I wake up in the but morning so friends of God I wish that you understand this so many issues that children of God walk, walk with there are those things that they are supposed to be uh, back to back to God and also that they are accountable to others. Now try to imagine if the Bible says approach your brethren and talk about it. Now what happens when it is something that you have done in the church? So it does not concern specific people. And so that they can put pressure on you. Or so that they can put pressure on you. This uh, concerns the Holy Spirit and yourself. Give a hand clap to the Holy Spirit. So I want to teach you. Starting from today. As a, as a child of God. Uh, you need to arrest that and say this is who I am. Let them leave me alone. No. It concerns God. So you cannot ignore the church of Christ. And you think that it is okay because there is no one who is there to supervise you. And think that God will overlook that. God cannot ignore that. And God expects us to respect one another. And also respect the church. And that is why when we come for the Holy Communion. The Bible says. The Holy Communion. It should require you to align yourself. Why? Uh, because you are supposed to be diligent so that you do not sin against the God So they are talking about the, the bread. But you should remember that the true body of Christ is the church. So in our relationships, you should never think that you are part of the church and there is no one who is responsible towards me. So maybe today you are a visitor. Maybe you have another church where you belong to. But I want to tell you, the church of Christ is very important. And it needs to be honored. It is a place to be honored. And there is a way to enter into it. And there is a way you are supposed to live there. And there is a way you are supposed to, to be raised up. And there is a way to be disciples. So it's not a place where people enter and exit whenever they want. And it is not a place where you take your personal decisions without being accountable to others. Because some of your decisions concerning your personal life affect even others. So that's how you sin against the church. And it will be even worse because God was expecting you to ask for forgiveness. The other body members. There are four friends of God. As we wind up, I want us to put this on our hearts. As the world accepts children to obey their parents, a wife to obey the husband, and have a discipline in the church, the same way God expects the, the discipline in the church, and he's serious about it. And I want to tell you that since 2004, I've been seeing God really following up on this. So that whip that we saw in Hebrews chapter 12, uh, many people think that uh, God has punished me because I no longer serve him. Or it's because I decided to forsake the, the, the ministry. 
we can easily think that way. Ariko ndaje mbabwiye ngo imibanire yacu hagati y'abantu nabandi nayo irakomeye mu maso y'Imana. But I want to tell you that the way we relate to others it is very important in the sight of God. Itondera uko witwara mu nzu y'Imana. So be careful the way you you, you handle yourself. Itondera uko witwara ugasitaza bene so that you do not become a stumbling block to your people. Kandi igiye cyose ugiranye kibazo n'umuntu musaba imbabazi. And whenever you have a conflict with someone else so please ask for forgiveness. Isaba imbabazi for forgiveness. Bizana kwigisha ko ukwiriye gusaba imbabazi. And because you learn to ask for forgiveness. Nubo bigiriye uriya muntu. And you are not doing it for the sake of the other person. Bigirira imana itegereje ko wiyunga nabantu. You should do it also for God who is expecting you to reconcile to other people. Kandi shaka ko ugira amahoro mu mutima. And because God wants you also to have inner peace. Twibuke ijambo ry'Imana Matayo gatano. So let's remember what is written in Matthew chapter 5. Icyanditswe mugomba gufata mu mutwe. The scripture that you are supposed to memorize Nuko nujyana ituro rya ukugicaniro ukibuka mwene soko afite icyo mupfa uri mu nzira usiga ituro ryawe imbere y'igicaniro ubanze ugende wikiranure na mwene so uhere kugaruka uturi ituro ryawe Therefore if you are offering your gift at the altar and there remember that your brother or sister has something against you leave your gift there in front of the altar first go and be reconciled to them then come and offer your gift kutumvikana nabandi bifunga amasengesho yawe you know having conflicts with others it is a hindrance to your prayers gukora ikintu mu mubiri wa Kristo kibangamira abandi bifunga imigisha yawe and offending others in the body of Christ it hinders your blessings kutamenya uko witwara mu nzu y'Imana bifunga imigisha yawe so not knowing how you are supposed to handle yourself in the house of God mbere y'amaturo yose uza guturira Imana so before all the offerings that we want to give to God umurimo so whichever work that you may do you need to respect the church of Christ so that the church will not excommunicate you and then once you are excommunicated you'll be even having even a bigger issue because the same thing that is taking you outside so heaven knows that you have been taken out of the church because they because they tried to give you an advice but you refused so may the Lord Jesus bless all of us together. Oh,